Hello guys, good morning. Actually, good afternoon. Today's a, call it a, a, a special day or a weird day. To, I think it's been se seven years and I don't think I've ever talked about it or blogged about it. My brother passed away seven years ago in a motorcycle accident. And uh, today I'm gonna take my girls, Hello. all my family to, um, to where he's at, where we have his ashes and just so they can know what what who he, uh, their uncle was it's uh it's gonna be a pretty sad day for uh especially my mom but we're gonna blog about it just in memory of my brother his name was jose that's what he, that's what we call him joseph just in memory of my brother so um okay we'll keep talking to you guys later bye where my brother is resting, you can say that. And there's ashes, we have his ashes, he was cremated. Uh, he's in there and uh, we we're just waiting for my family to you know, kind of stop by and I'm gonna stop by, we're gonna meet and just kind of respect. This is very weird feeling, it's like, what do you do? You know, it's like, I know he's not there anymore, I know he's not. He's not there. And to come and talk to him, it's just weird feeling. It's undescribable. It's I just don't know what to do. It's picture we have when he's carrying her. So we're here where my brother rests. There he is. Like I said, it's a weird feeling. Like what to do in here. There's little flowers and some letters that his daughter wrote. And I'm just gonna quote something from that letter. It's kind of pretty sad. Of course, she goes on saying she misses her dad and 
she thinks this is a, it's a dream what she's going through. She doesn't believe that her dad is dead. It's just a nightmare and she'll wake up soon and one day she'll see him. It's pretty sad. Aquí está mi hermano José. Hay unas cosas ahí con flores y unas cartas que escribió su hija. Yo sé que es difícil es, eh, explicar y describe lo que uno siente aquí. En tantas semanas o meses o tal vez lo ignoro porque no quiero pensar que él ya no está aquí. Pero cuando pienso que él no está aquí, si, si llega la tristeza y que si lo extraño mucho. Y hay ciertas cosas que yo y él hacíamos, hacíamos juegos que ya, ya no hago. Hacíamos ciertas bromas con mi hermano George que ya no hago. Porque era yo y él. Yo sé que todos tenemos que pasar por este momento, esta experiencia, pero no, yo no sé cómo actuar en esto. A veces no hay palabras que alguien me puede decir y todo va a estar bien, y no, todo va a salir bien. Y yo sé que con buenas intenciones nos dicen, pero es difícil de, de este momento, ¿no? es difícil explicarlo. Eso es lo único que puedo decir, es difícil explicarlo. Y, y, ya tenemos creo que siete años y todavía el dolor está ahí. Y, una vez hablé con un pastor y me dijo, ¿Y qué, qué? pastor, le dije, yo, yo estoy confundido porque quiero hablar con mi hermano, y, pero él está en la, ahí en su caja. Y él me dijo, tú ve y habla. Abre tu corazón y ya sé que no te va a escuchar, pero es como a healing, una sanidad o algo que te, 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 te da paz a su corazón. Y es difícil hablar de paz cuando hay un dolor, pero él me dijo, habla con él y, y abre tu corazón. Y yo me acuerdo hace dos o tres años vine y, y, y hice eso, pero todavía duele. José, brother, we miss you. We miss your laugh, your smile, your jokes, your pranks. Love you, brother. Thank you for all the good years, all the good times. We miss you and we will see you soon.